Welcome back, and in this video, we're gonna talk about what books we should read to understand Wireshark better. So, stick around. Okay, so this is a question that actually comes in quite a bit. I actually just got a comment on this just a video ago. What books should I buy to get more out of Wireshark? I mean, digging through Wireshark is nice, but hey, I'm a book guy too. Sometimes it's nice to have a book to read through to really understand how something works. Now, it's a bit of a complicated question just because there's so many books out there about Wireshark, but I'm gonna boil it down to two different categories. First, there's the books that help us to understand the actual analyzer better. So what's the output? What are the menus? How do I graph this? How do I graph that? What are some capture and display filters that I should use? And then another type of book that I'm gonna point you to are actual protocol books. So protocols that help us to dig deeper into certain applications and how the actual protocols work. Now, if any of these look interesting to you, I do have links to them directly in the description down below. So to start with just the books about Wireshark and how to be a better analyst, uh, let me show you three. The first one that I would recommend is Practical Packet Analysis, Edition 3 by Chris Sanders. Uh, this is a book that I personally have. I've read through it. I think that it does a great job of taking us through Wireshark from an analysis perspective. So not just going down every single menu in just a boring way, but Chris does a good job of making it an easy read and helps us to get a better understanding of how Wireshark as a whole works. The second one is Wireshark 101 by Laura Chappell. Now, Laura's been in the game for a very long time, so she has a lot of experience with Wireshark. She also makes analysis fun, and you really see that come through in her books. So I would actually recommend this as well, and especially if we are brand new to Wireshark, never picked it up before, never really opened it up and tried to read it, this would be a good book for you. The last book that I would recommend is by Lisa Bach, and that is Learn Wireshark. Now, this is a great book. It's very recent. It just came out in 2019. And it also, at the end, even takes us into CloudShark and helps us understand how the cloud-based Wireshark works. So I would recommend any one of those books. All three will really help you to get started with Wireshark and get you to the point where you can understand most network traffic and troubleshoot it. So now let's move to the other type of book that I would recommend. So after we already have some hands-on with Wireshark, we know our filters, we know how to capture, and we know generally how to use the analyzer itself, now we're gonna move more into the protocols and the applications. So let me show you the book that I am constantly turning to when I'm doing network analysis. And here we are at TCPIP Illustrated Volume 1, The Protocols, and note the second edition. So this is by Kevin Fall and Richard Stevens. Uh, really, you could say that this is the TCP IP Bible. This is a book that I'm constantly going to to make sure that I understand how TCP works. Now, this isn't a fun read. It's a technical manual. So you're gonna open it up and it's not necessarily one that you would read from cover to cover, but if you really want to dig into how a certain part of TCP works or how it should look, this would be the book for you. And really, I think it's one that should be on any packet head shelf. And the last place that I'm gonna point you to are the actual RFCs. Now, if you're a network analyst and a hardcore packet head, you should absolutely know about the RFCs and how to read them. Again, not really exciting, fun Sunday afternoon reading, but they really show us how protocols work. Now, just recently, I was troubleshooting a problem for one of my clients, and I had to go back to the RFC to understand how that option was supposed to work. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, a lot of times we're just gonna Google a protocol if we don't know the real RFC number, but these are the requests for comments. So really, these are the standards of how protocols should work. Now, in the case of my customer, I was troubleshooting something with the ECN bit in the TCP header. Here we have RFC 3168. Now, again, not exactly exciting reading, but I was able to go in there and find how things should work, how it was really designed to be implemented, and then I was able to find the problem for the customer. So there you have it. Those are my recommendations as far as books to read about Wireshark, as far as the analyzer itself, and as well as TCP, and then on into the RFCs when you're doing analysis. Now, like I mentioned, there's a ton more. Really, you could go into DNS, you can go in more into SMB, you can go into TLS, you can go into all kinds of different books that would help with Wireshark analysis. But I would say these are the basic ones that should be on the shelf for any packet head. Again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on another video.